Mom, I'm not gonna drink milk anymore. I'm a big boy now. <laughs> Welcome to Autodesk Maya tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about soft rigid bodies, specifically trail, which is made out of soft rigid bodies. And guys, if you're if you haven't got Autodesk Maya software yet, you can just go to your browser, go to Google and type in Autodesk Maya free trial and then uh, just hit the first link that's gonna pop out and then just scroll down and uh, choose the operating system that you're using if you're using Windows just click on Windows if you're using Mac just click on Mac then um, check I have read and agreed to their privacy notice above and install now so the best thing about this if you're a student is you're gonna be given a free student software and a free three-year license which is very very cool you're just gonna have to register so let's get started first let's uh, let's go over to our Maya and uh, and first uh, let's take a look at what are we gonna be making there you go what we have here is a very very sweet trail made by the ball this is a slide this is a snow what well what I want to think is as a snow and uh, what we have here is a snowflake just this. what we have here is a flake snowflake which is made out of a emitter emitter that has been changed into a snowflake so let's get started so uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is to make a plane which is about the size of our grid and hit 5 and um, let's go over to our channel control A go over to our polyplane one and change the subdivisions into I guess uh, 30 well the reason why I changed the subdivisions is because we can't sculpt the plane if you have no subdivisions so let's say I'm gonna change this back into one and then I'm gonna sculpt our plane it's not gonna make any bump into our plane not until if you have uh, subdivisions so if you bring back this into 30 and I'm gonna click and drag into the plane boom it's gonna make a uh, wonderful bump so there's no right way in uh, making a bump here just gonna have to randomly click and drag into our plane so we go and hit 3 to smooth to smoothen it up and close and then uh, the same thing that we're gonna do is to make a square which is I know that you can do better than this and I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just making a square because uh, for the just for the sake of the tutorial I'm just gonna go to my side view and by the way I'm pressing spacebar holding the spacebar and then uh, holding the spacebar is gonna uh, is, uh, is gonna show up some options then just left click Maya here and then uh, just click and drag side view right click vertex I'm just gonna change the vertex position so, there we go. There we go. I'm just gonna go to my perspective view again and I think I'm just gonna choose a a bump here object mode then I'm gonna rotate it um, 90 degrees there we go so uh, the next thing we need is a ball just, gonna just hit W you wanna by the way just hit W if you wanna move the ball just hit E if you wanna rotate the ball and hit R if you wanna scale the ball so I'm just gonna go to my top view so that I can uh, 
adjust the ball, adjust the position of the ball. So there you go, we're good to go. I'm just going to drag it up a little bit more. So the first thing we're going to do is to uh, select the ball and then uh, go to fields. Well, uh, my menu bar is a little bit, I think, different from yours. It is because I'm in the dynamics section. And so if you're in animation, it's going to show up different options. If you're at polygons, you know, show up different options also. So in this tutorial, we're going to be at dynamics. So choose fields and gravity. And I'm just going to change the timeline. So what this gravity does is uh, what gravity does. It pulls down things uh, on Earth. So it's the same thing that what gravity does here. It's going to pull the ball down. There we go. Second one is uh, choose the slide and uh, hit soft rigid bodies and set it to passive key so that it won't go through the slide anymore it's going to bounce into the slide but it's going to go through our snowfall so what we have to do is to uh, click our snow floor, go to soft rigid buddies and create soft body and then go to option for creation options just uh, choose duplicate makes copy soft and if your hide non soft object is unchecked, check it. And make non soft to go and check. Click apply and close. So next, um, we're gonna choose the particle of this snow core. Just, uh, just uh, choose, just pick a tiny itsy bitsy dot part. It's the particles. And then if you already selected it. And uh, shift select the ball, and then um, just go to particles, make collide. What that does is, it's gonna the ball's gonna go, it's gonna go through the floor. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have a cold. I've been coughing all day. Uh, I'm having a hard time speaking, so please bear with me, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's gonna go through our floor, but it's gonna make a fluffy reaction with the ball touch the floor. So I think we're halfway through. It's gonna make a fluffy and it's gonna go it's gonna our floor is gonna go back to its original state. And so the next thing we're gonna do is to select the ball go to the ball's channel and then go to particle collision then set it to on and then mass it's the weight of the ball so uh, I advise that you play around it ranges from 25 to 100 but I'm using 75 so um, after that, set it off again. Particle collision off. And then the next one, we're gonna create our floor so that it won't go through our, our snow floor. It's gonna bounce off into our newly created floor. And that floor, choose soft rigid bodies and then create passive rigid body. Go to options. And then, uh, if you're if you have bounciness, just set it to zero. Then damp. Just play around uh, between 0.5 to 0.9. So I'm just gonna make it 0.9. Just click apply. And then uh, the last thing, choose the ball, and then um, and for the damp. Set it to, I think, uh, 0.3. Uh, what this does is, uh, it is the option which makes which makes the ball um, bounce 
which makes the ball um, um, uh, how far will it roll well it's hard to explain without you seeing it guys so I'm just gonna say to three and then I'm gonna show it to you later and so just uh, last thing just uh, select the particle again just make sure you haven't selected the, the newly created floor and then just go to the channels and then uh, we're gonna change the goal weight and uh, the conserve so our goal weight is this is the very delicate part let's set it to 0 0.01 and our conserve to 0 0.72 so let's see. Let's play. There you go. It's not that perfect, but we're almost there. There you go. So go wait. What this does is it is the time that our snow floor is going to go back to its original state so if we're going to change this um, into 0.5 see what happens it's going to go back right away it's going to go back into its original state right away so let's, gonna, let's change it back to 0 0.01 And for the conserve here, this is how hard the ball, how hard the snow floor will react to the ball. So I'm just going to change this into 0.5 or 0.9. It's going to make a intense impact. It's going to make an in intense reaction to the ball. So I think let's just change it into 0.5. There you go. Thank you. There you go. Let's uh let's adjust it a bit. Point four. Zero point three eight. So just play it play it around to get to get your desired um, result I think uh, it's gonna be it alright so as you can see here the ball made a very very sweet trail on the snow floor and, well um, that, that's about it but and for the emitter, for a snowflake emitter, so I'm 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 gonna discuss this um, instancer in the next tutorial. So that's it. And uh, I hope you learned something. And uh, just thank you for watching. And uh, thank you for bearing with me. I'm having a hard time talking. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out my other videos. And uh, there's a lot more tutorials to come. Adobe products, RealFlow. There will be a lot of useful tutorials that that's gonna come that's gonna come up in the following days. So thank you for watching again and uh, have a nice day.